What's up guys? Welcome back to 5280. Today we are going to clean and detail the engine bay on the Explorer. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it step by step and honestly it is really easy and you do need minimal products. So a good degreaser and I mix it about one to one ratio so about half and half there and then I got a couple of brushes here to help agitate this while it's going in there. So without further ado Let's get started. The thing that people are going to worry the most about is going to be water. And a little bit of common sense. Don't go spray your, well, diffuse box or your or computer with high pressure water. Because, well, that can ruin it if you use high pressure water. If you use low pressure water, it probably won't make much of a difference whatsoever. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top, work our way down. And that's the reason being is because all the dirt up here is going to fall downward. So, you don't want to start here and then work your way up. It just doesn't work that way. So, first thing we're going to do with this and then we're gonna spray it with our degreaser. brush and we're just gonna have the tail like so honestly this is probably about the easiest part pretty simple now we're just gonna rinse it off and then we'll start down here and it honestly took about two minutes if that Yeah, let's dry now. All right, so all this is clean now. It's got all the dirt and grime and stuff on it. You can see this little label looks like bright white. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way down here. Now, I don't know if the camera is quite catching this, but you can see there's some oil residue and some stuff right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray it, agitate it, and rinse it. Pretty simple. Not much to it. Right in here, this is a little bit of oil residue. You see how it has that rainbow effect or like what oil does? Well, that's the stuff we're gonna help get off. And then, look at this. We're gonna clean this up as well. This is disgusting. thicker diluted stuff and we just start spraying everything down. So a couple of things I'm doing right now is I'm looking at what I've cleaned and what still needs to be well, clean. Basically just looking at all the spots that I may have missed. And most of it is like is clean. There's some spots like this over here, this drives me nuts. And then um, where the air conditioning uh, high and low pressure lines go into and then also where uh, the computer is. That, may not do as deep as a detail just because of obvious reasons but one of the 
everything else, everything else looks like it's going to happen. Right here, and all kinds of stuff all around this. So there's still a little bit right here. I'm going to touch this up. Probably won't get it perfect, but it will definitely get it so it looks a little bit better. So if there is a leak in this area, it's easily identifiable or identifiable. Um, but we're looking pretty good. Clean this guy up pretty good. Clean that up really good. This is a night and day difference. This looks amazing compared to what it was. That is, actually, this is the main reason why I was doing it because this thing looks so gross. So we're just going to continue. Probably get a little get this again here in some areas up in here. And then uh, touch up in those corners over there. And I think we'll be good to go into our next step. So everything is all done as far as like the degreasing and uh, just the cleaning of all the grease and dirt and whatever else is in there. Now, I will say it's not perfect. Could be better. I could spend a little bit more time and get in here with a toothbrush, do all that stuff. There's an intricate area down here that's a little difficult to get to, but the reality of it, this is supposed to be a quick video to show you how to do. Just at least an overall detail. And the nice thing is, it's like if I ever have to work on this, most of the grease and grime and stuff is gone. And if you stay on top of it, it'll actually never build up to where you actually have an issue. So what we're gonna do is let it dry, and then we're gonna get a tire dressing, or if you have a different dressing that you like to use, but we're gonna use that and make it look good. You can use products like these and Meguiar's, this is actually an interior, this is going to be an interior as well, and then this is going to be a tire shine. Honestly, they all work fairly the same. Um, the biggest thing I will recommend is if you're going to do this and you want it to last the longest, uh, Chemical Guys actually makes a product that's for this in particular. So, keep that in mind. For these stuff, if you have this stuff laying around, you can use this. And really what you're going to do and this stuff I probably will never use on my interior, so basically spray it down like so. Just get it over everything that's black. Shine the battery just because I want to. And normally I would wait until everything is a little bit drier, but for the sake of the video. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to grab a rag and we're going to wipe it down with the rag. Put it right here. We're just going to. Can you hear the sound? Can't stop us now. We're not back in town, but what we're doing. Things are about to change this evolution. What a transformation. It looks great, and if you're the type of guy that likes to pop your hood at a car meet, this is an easy way to make a difference. So, now, a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of getting rid right of some grease is a good way to uh, make sure that, you know, 
Ninja Bay is going to be clean. The other thing is, is when you work on it, if stuff is this clean, it's going to be easier to identify leaks and it's also going to be less of a mess when you do work on it. Now, the car does start, it's something I did off camera, just to warm it up, make things dry a little bit faster. But other than that, it is a lot better than I was expecting. And it was, I would say, a little bit of a deep clean, but not as deep as it should have been. But uh, the results speak for itself. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button. You need to get those numbers up. But until uh, next time, guys, I'll catch you later.